Wow. It's four fifty-nine. Did you know that our watches have a Mickey Mouse face that talks? Is they that do. cool or what? Mickey yeah. Mouse. I've got Minnie, she's got Mickey. Yeah, that's right. We're actually, because we're in the collector's attic today, we're doing Mickey Mouse watches. And I've Mickey, had a lot of those. Oh, I've had a lot of Mickey Mouse cars, too. Mm -hmm. a, a, a lot of stuff. But now the Pretty real darn Mickey Mouse. <laughs> now, they came out with the Mickey Mouse watch in the 1930s uh, because Mickey Mouse kind of came out in the late 1920s. And at some point, Walt Disney realized that the way to really make some money is to sell souvenirs, uh, memorabilia, oh my. mouse-ania, if you will. And watches were expensive back then. Watches Holy were cow. expensive, but the really, the really rich kids all wanted to have a Mickey Mouse watch. Yeah. And so Timex came out with the mouse watch, and they came up with the incredibly clever idea to make his hands the clock hands, so that Mickey's hands went around. I mean, we take that for granted now, mm -hmm. but back then that was like a whole thing. And that's, that's awesome. probably what made Mickey Mouse watches so popular is Mickey pointed at the numbers with his hands and then you'd even teach your kids how to work the watch. Now when Mickey's right hand is on the two mm -hmm. and his left hand is on the 12, it's two o'clock. Yes. Today you say that to kids and they go, what? what the heck are you talking about? The mouse has hands. Sure, of course all mice have hands, but well, clocks don't. Right. You They're know, clocks digital. have numbers. Mice have hands. Mm -hmm. You know, what are you talking about? So. Analog clock, they don't know how back to make time. Then it, that back then it made sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At any rate, uh, they, they had the Timex Mickey Mouse watch for quite some period of time, mm -hmm. and they became insanely collectible in the 1950s and the 1960s. Everybody wanted oh, one of those. They went they to did. hundreds of dollars mm -hmm. in, in 60s money which was a lot of money, and Timex was kind of looking at that going, you know, I think we're missing the boat here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why don't we bring back the Mickey Mouse watch? Mm -hmm. And Walt Disney said, yeah, I get a piece of it. Anyway, they worked all of that out, and they re-released the Mickey the Mouse Mickey watch. The Mickey Mouse watch. And oh, here look at that. is the Mickey Mouse. Now, you'll notice that it comes on uh, with a little figure of Mickey Mouse, and then here's the Timex Mickey Mouse watch. Isn't that fun? From the, the 1960s. Yes. From about 1967 mm -hmm. that this came out. Now, this has a, a, a metal band on it, mm -hmm. which is more uh, the way most of them ended up. As they came delivered, it just had a red plastic band, which broke as soon as oh, you put it on. Yeah. So everybody just went out. You paid more for the for the watch band mm -hmm. than for the watch. When they brought this back on the market, it was uh, six fifty. Oh as wow! I recall. Yeah, and with the figure and everything. Of course, wow. now in sixties money. So adjusted for inflation, that's about sixty dollars to yes. sixty to seventy dollars today. So, in spite of everything, they weren't that cheap back no. then. That was a tank and a half of gas. Yes. Uh, six bucks. So. Um, but there it is, there's the 60s release, mm. and subsequently they just kept re-releasing and re-releasing and re-releasing and re-releasing. There has always been a Mickey Mouse watch on the market ever mm -hmm. since. If you can find one of those original ones oh. from the 1930s, uh, they have a gold face and uh, authenticating one because you would want to authenticate it because you're gonna pay thousands of dollars for the I thing. I would imagine. Uh, even one of these is yeah. now going to set you back a fair chunk of change mm -hmm. if you can find one of the 60s oh, sure. versions. Right. But uh, here's a, a, a <laughs> much more modern, Minnie Mouse. the Minnie Mouse. Yeah. And then, of course, there it now is. Now the, the iWatch the, has, the it. I watch has <laughs> it. So it was sound. Tells you what time it is. There's always been a Mickey. And, yeah. This, uh, <laughs> So Mickey Mouse watches have been around forever, but boy, that first generation mouse watch, mm. that really changed the world. And then and then bringing it back onto the market with this guy. Oh, that would be uh, sweet. And that was a really big event because there yeah. were so many of us that wanted a Mickey Mouse watch. I wanted a Mickey Mouse watch. Oh, I did too. I just, I was, I just got a wrist watch. I had to learn how to tell time. I was well, in first grade. When they came out, uh, you know, they were in the stores and then they were gone. And mm. I was on the phone calling everywhere and I finally found one at the Grand Central in Bountiful. Oh my goodness. And they had three of them, and you know me, mm -hmm. bought all three. Wow. And uh, there's one right there. That's cool. So isn't that neat? That's neat. What fun. <laughs> well, if you, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. It sort of helps us out. Yeah. 
And the easy way to get to the channel, subscribe and binge watch all in one fell swoop is to click on the blue button. Are you ready for it? Zoink. That's the subscribe button and it takes you to the channel. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet. We hope you didn't find it boring. And we will see you here on Sunday with the Sunday show. We'll see you we'll then. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.